give me an example of a depressed client, how it translated it in their life. Okay. Or or just friends or whoever. Like when you came across other depressed people, okay. enlighten me in which w- in what ways does it pour out hmm. and affect their day to day? Okay. So in a nutshell, maybe one client has no family history of mental illness, no personal history of trauma, um, kind of traditionally no reasons to feel down, right? But they just fucking feel down all the time. Right. Like, it's just heavy. It's heavy. And there's a clinical definition of, you know, depression, but usually the client doesn't know what that is. Mm. They just come in feeling fucking sad. Like, I'm having trouble eating, sleeping, finding meaning in relationships, fulfilling my obligations as a mom or dad, meeting the expectations of my partner. Um, My dog doesn't bring me joy. So it sounds like, it sounds like the term, the word that keeps coming to my mind when you're talking about that is paralyzed, meaning um, depression could be paralyzing. Or is paralyzing. It puts a person in a position where they feel paralyzed. Mm, it depends on the person. Depends on the person. And how they define paralyzed, yeah. Huh. Fascinating. 